All right, so we're going to start talking about intervention and what we need to get together our writing intervention for after school. So does everybody have their list of students who scored either a 60 or less on the CDB? Yes, okay. Um, we need to talk a little bit about what we need for intervention and what we need to get together. So does anybody have any ideas? Um, I know we know, need rosters. We need the rosters. We need um, who's teaching. Who's teaching. We need um, snacks. Those are always our, our good Brain rewards. Pops. Brain pops. What we're going to teach during intervention. What we're going to teach during intervention. I guess who will be in intervention. So on those rosters, we need to know who will be in. Uh, why don't I go around right now? We can figure out who has how many. So we can figure out how many classrooms we need. So in our co-teach class, we had about 60 students who are going to need us. So that means we're going to have to split them in half, and both of us are going to have to teach on that. Um, so it uh, looks like we have a full load. And I had two regular classes and one pre-AP class, and I have a total of 45 um, that need intervention. And I also had two regular classes, and I need 45 in intervention as well. I have the GT class, and I will need five in intervention. And I had um, two pre-AP and one regular, so they're about 15. So, um, so I can take on, you know, some of yours, Skinner can take on uh, some of yours. So I think between the extras that you guys have, we'll be able to split it up and take care of those kids, even though we're not their original teachers. So about 10 or so of my students and 10 of uh, Ms. Carly's students will go to Ms. Skinner for intervention as well. And then you all will split your 60 students between the co-teacher and the, between co-teachers. Right. We also need to decide, um, since we're going to be staying with them, like who can stay after school as well uh, to kind of see them off and make sure that everybody gets, kind of gets out. We've asked uh, Ms. Estrada and Ms. Cap to do our snacks so that we don't have to be down there in the room so we can be standing out in the hall waiting for them the, to greet the students. So that will help. And we know that we're going to have technology as our warm-up um, for intervention, and that also helps with getting kids in at a, a sporadic, because um, they don't all come at the same time from the cafeteria. Um, so we, now we need to start breaking it down into the actual skills that we're going to address. So we want to use our uh, data for that as well right now. Uh, we need somebody to be able to check with Melissa to see how much we have in the budget for rewards, you know, candy, chips, uh, drinks, those type of things too. And I have an open PO um, for that from Ms. Estrada, so we just need to figure out what, what weeks we will do the reward and what we actually want to give to them at that time. If everybody's willing, if you copy-paste the kids that you're going to need to uh, tutor into a, uh, a Google document, I can actually create a, a roster that's a master roster for the snack. Uh, that way uh, we have one document and it's easier on everybody.